this is just a question for uh, Mr. Milan Kuchan and uh, moreover for the Israeli partner Benjamin Netanyahu uh, for the Israeli Knesset uh, for the Slovenian parliament uh, actually this is a question for the whole internet from the paranoid schizophrenic I'm a paranoid schizophrenic proudly so and so this is a question for you guys why is it that there is no picture with Milan Kuchan, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, or what's like that the two don't know each other? It's maybe that Milan Kuchan doesn't know where Israel is or something like that. So I'm just I'm just asking why there is no picture, why there is no photo. It's photos of all the politicians together, but I find kind of amazing as a paranoid schizophrenic as I am, that it could be no picture found on the internet between Milan Kuchan. You can find one with the Queen. You can find Milan Kuchan with the Queen. You can find one with the Vladimir Putin and with the whole Putin stop inside of the Moscow so many years before the war on people of Ukraine. You can find Milan Kuchan anywhere with anybody. You can find one with the President George Bush, but there is no way you can find Milan Kuchan with Benjamin Netanyahu. It's maybe that M Milan Kuchan never heard of Benjamin Netanyahu, or that Benjamin Netanyahu doesn't know anything about Milan Kuchan. This is about the war which Israeli state planned together with the Russian Federation on people of Ukraine since 1997 literally through this MK Ultra case sit it on my grave on the top of my casket for no less than 28 years this thing here is basically what you get if you google the names such as Milan Kuchan and Netanyahu and I think it's quite evident right here if you go and you click this you get Milan Kuchan here with the Jansha, Janis Jansha, that's the guy Slovenian state have used to send to Israel, uh, because supposedly this man here, did you see this Janis Jansha, is the opposition of Milan Kuchan, he's the opposition of Borut Pahor, he's the opposition of Tanya Fayon, he's the opposition of Dernozhek, he's in other words opposition of those that sided with the Russia historically before even Yugoslavia existed, if you understand what I'm saying. You're talking about the people that would, for the sake of Serbia, go as far as annihilating Slovenian nation. In fact, for the last 30-something years since Slovenian independence, these people have worked firmly with acts of ethnic cleansing genocide procedure against the natives in Slovenia. They did absolutely everything possible to create out of Slovenia a Republika Srpska Northern, just as the Serbs have created one in Bosnia. That's exactly what these people have worked. So they used for their relations with Israel on the photos, yeah, on the photos, you can see what is known as a so-called opposition. The only problem with the Yanis Yansha is that he used to be element of Udba. He used to work, in other words, for the KGB. And more so than most of other people even that you see who officially sided with the Russia, with the Serbia. So you can't see Milan Kuchan in anything to do with Israel. Do you think that Netanyahu is a known name? Do you think that it's maybe a Google search engine that has a problem with this stuff? What do you think, why is this, that when you Google Milan Kuchan with a Benjamin Netanyahu, you don't get to see one absolutely anywhere? They, they demonstrate all the pictures you possibly can imagine, but they will not demonstrate Milan Kuchan with Benjamin Netanyahu when you enter that inside of the search engine. 
Now, the schizophrenic paranoid is asking you, why is this? And this is the room that belongs to the paranoid schizophrenic in which Slovenia participated with the Russia and with the Israel on a numerous transactions that have taken place between the two countries since 1995. It was a Central Intelligence Agency, SIA, that assisted Putin, Slovenia, Belgrade, Serbia with hijackings, extraordinary abductions from Miami, Florida to Slovenia for 11 and a half consecutive years concerning United States of America alone. But the crime, this crime drags on for no less than 28 years. So this is just a question that I have. Why is Israel so sensitive? Why are you hiding so much about who you really are, who you have cited? It appears like this is like a lot of sold on Israeli wound. Is somebody extremely, extremely, extremely sensitive in my ability right now pointing out the connection between the Israel and between the Slovenian state. As a matter of fact, Israel and deep Slovenian state. As a matter of fact, between Israel and Milan Kuchan, Tanya Fayon and other people. So I'm asking why? Why is it that we can't see? You can put here Putin and you get this. You can put here this, and you get this. You get to see Kuchan in the Moscow with, with Russians, with the Putin, with whatever you want. Man, you can put Queen Elizabeth with Milan Kuchan. And you get to see one with him. You get to see him with her. So my question is, who is so sensitive about this paranoid schizophrenia? Who is so afraid of this paranoid schizophrenia? Because I'm not. Somebody, however, has fear all over. Somebody, however, have worked all along to hide something some very important facts out of this case. That's all I want to ask in respect to this video. You like a paranoid schizophrenia? Then I'm going to give you one. You're going to fucking dream about it. This, this here, this is the stuff. This is the stuff I need you to do. That might be said to NATO. You need to investigate Israeli technology mounted on Slovenian tanks, which Slovenia just gave to Ukraine for possible similarities of those mounted on Russian arsenal. Slovenia delayed delivery of tanks as much as possible. I don't know maybe two weeks since Slovenia have given finally those tanks and we are already heading into a 10 month of war between Russia and Ukraine. As you know, the assistance which was given at the beginning of the war to Ukraine is the one that counts. The rest are, you know, extras. This is the stuff I need to know, and I need to know one because Vladimir Putin personally inspected those tanks. Yes, those tanks which Slovenia delivered to Ukraine were authorized, were authorized for delivery to Ukraine by the Vladimir Putin alone during his visit. Vladimir Putin will spend in Slovenia, I swear man, a lot of fucking time. I'm not going to say more than in Russia, but more than anywhere else. With exception to Russia, yes, absolutely. 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 These are the people Vladimir Putin dealt his transactions through with. And this also is really, uh, related to the Israeli death threats. 
in respect to war in Ukraine if I would dare to touch issues about Israel, what exactly Israel was doing here all along, what exactly went on, why Israel needed to open, in my case, a hate ticket known as anti-Semitism, why Israel was eager to depict me as a hater, what exactly Israel was hiding behind the hate ticket. This here. Israel made more money in this room than it did with entire Israeli combined industry, with entire Israeli industry combined in the history of existence of the Israeli state inside of this room. You understand? That's what Israel needed the hate ticket for. This is the stuff you're going to do for me. This is the stuff you're going to investigate. Because I don't like death threats. When you start to give death threats, when you start to action the death threats, then I'm going to give you more than what the fuck you can handle. You can trust me on that. Oh, what a pretty picture, isn't it?